I see a lost soul, an insect of no fixed address, an aimless vagabond hopping from hearth to hearth with no direction, no job, no prospects, and no purpose in life. Now look here, just because a fella sneaks into somebody's house to warm his backside and... Sure, he might have gotten kicked out of a place or two, but... <sighs> okay, you have a point. Here's the thing. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? You darn tootin' I do. I consider myself a bug of high moral standards, no matter what you may have heard. Well, that settles it then. Kneel, Mr. Cricket. I hereby appoint huh? you Pinocchio's conscience. Uh, temporary conscience. Sure, temporary conscience, until such time as Pinocchio may grow his own. Henceforth, you are the High Keeper of the knowledge of right and wrong, and a trusted counselor during moments of temptation. Arise, Sir Jiminy Cricket. Hey, this is more like it. <laughs> I present to you the eighth wonder of the world. The one and only Pinocchio! Hello, Pops. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jumping keepers. And I was real. <laughs> Turn around, let me get a look at you. I will be right here when you get back. Pinocchio is running around loose without a conscience? Can you imagine the trouble he's gonna get into? Wouldn't want that on my conscience. Everybody who's anybody wants to be a somebody! But I wanna be real! Why on earth would you want to be real when you can be famous? Pinocchio okay, should have been home by now. Pinocchio! Like a bolt out of the blue. He won't be a puppet anymore. That's for sure. Selfish. You will always be my real boy. A lie can really change a person, Pinocchio. Oh, what's happening, Jiminy? Looks like some sort of fairy magic. Kinda on the nose, if you ask me. 